Welcome to another edition of Smart Chat here on YouTube.com and I want to do my thoughts on the 2017 2017 Baltimore Orioles. Um, you know when you look at last year the 2016 Orioles um, they were a playoff team that uh, you know going into that season you really didn't think that they were um, this team shows uh, uh, this team led the majors in home runs last year I believe it was like uh, 250, 255, somewhere in that range. Uh, I think three players at least uh, three players had at least 35. Six had at least 22 home runs, and seven had at least 17. You know, power obviously they could cover up an awful lot of deficiencies, and that's what it did for the Orioles' offense. But you can't just expect the home run ball to lead you all the time. Uh, they have, you know, Buck Showalter, obviously. What Buck Showalter does in the regular season, it's like the Wizard of Oz. Starting with that 2012 turnaround that the Orioles had, the Orioles have averaged 89 wins per season under Showalter in the last five years. And he definitely gets the most out of his team. You know, 89 wins, 73 losses last year. Team has power. You know, Adam Jones has averaged 29 home runs per season since 2011. Manny Machado... 35 plus each of the last two seasons. Chris Davis, Mark Trumbull. Don't you know? Don't be surprised if you see him make a run at 50 this year. Scope, 25 home runs last year, 24. Wellington Castro, 46 home runs and 1138 at bats in the last three seasons. So. It comes down to an average of, if you do the math, about 23 home runs per every 62 games. Um, listen, the power off the charts. Off the charts. And expect the Orioles to be amongst the league, uh, the, the league leaders, I think, again, this year. The question is, can they get on base enough to produce uh you know those type of those three three run home run type of games um you know kim machado davis they're above average as far as that smith uh seth smith the newcomer out there uh he 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 will get a walk for you every once in a while. Um, Three forty three uh, on base percentage last year. He's a good fit. He's going to help this team because uh, they need patience, and that's going to help. Um, I think the Orioles as a team last year had like a three seventeen on base percentage. One one thing that concerns me. And this is probably the case for a lot of teams. It's the rotation. 4.72 ERA. Teams that had worse than that were the A's and the Twins. Think about that. 4.72 ERA. It's amazing that they made the playoffs. But again, they hit a, they hit a lot of home runs. Kevin Galsman there. He has the type of talent that he's due for a breakout season. I believe he broke down and he wore down his last three starts. You know, prior to that, he had a 205 ERA, nine starts, 62 strikeouts, 56 and two thirds innings. Uh, you know, it, it seemed like watching him from afar, like everything was coming together. Now what? He's 
26, it's time for him to to be the guy for the Orioles. Um, Dylan Bundy, you hear a lot of things about him. He finally joined the rotation last year. 8-5, 4-5-2 ERA, 72 strikeouts, 71 and two-thirds innings. Guy allowed a lot of home runs, 15, and walks, 30. Uh, a lot of good signs from him, though. The curveball is nice. Uh, started getting back to his cutter, which he uh, kind of got rid of uh, after coming off Tommy John surgery. Chris Tillman is back. Um, had some health issues there. Three de decent starters. But after that, you know, Jimenez, Baldo Jimenez shouldn't be starting. Wade Miley, he hasn't been good since 2013. Tyler Wilson, come on, 5.27 ERA, 94 innings last year. Mike Wright, 5.79 ERA. So, when you look at the fact that you really don't have a fourth and fifth starter, you need those three starters that I just mentioned there to be beasts and animals. The bullpen from the Orioles, though, um, uh, was third best in the majors, first in the AL. And that's with Dan, uh, Darren O'Day. He was limited to 31 innings due to you know injury. Britton, O'Day, Brock... And uh, Givens, they have one of the best back ends in the majors. I don't think that will change. Um, the adjustment period uh, with um, Matt uh, Weider is no longer there. Wellington Castillo. The adjustment with the pitching staff. How long would the adjustment take? So, and that's going to be key. That's going to be key. Um, if I were to look at this team right now, um, I'd probably give them about 84 wins. 84. Third place in the AL East. Second, um, you know, wild card. I think that's a good prediction. I hope all is well, and I look forward to speaking to you soon.